You do not need a perfect idea to build a successful online business. Nobody starts a business with a perfect idea. Here is what you do actually need. You just need to tap into what's already within you. So that is what I wanna show you how to do in this episode. When I was in my 20s, I felt so lost and confused with what I was meant to do in my life, with what I was gonna achieve. I had this feeling inside that I wanted to do more, I wanted to create more, I wanted to be successful, I really wanted to build a successful business. I saw other people doing it. I wanted to be doing it too, but I felt so stuck in my own way, so lost and confused. Over the years, I kept chipping away, chipping away, chipping away, trying to overcome the imposter syndrome and all the things, all the blocks. And I managed to start online businesses. I managed to achieve some big goals, like having my book published with Hay House, like becoming a bestseller, building a really successful online business, a community of hundreds of thousands of women from all over the world, building a business that generates multiple millions in revenue every single year. I went from feeling like lost and confused and feeling like that was such a ridiculously big dream that felt so unattainable to actually doing it. So I wanna create this series to break it down and show you one, how I went from an idea or a knowing and a feeling to actually getting started to making my first sale, my first 100,000, my first million, but also along the way show you how you can actually do it too because everyone can do this. Everyone can build a successful online business, every single one of us, but can we get out of our own way to do it? Are you gonna learn what you need to learn in order to make it happen? So let's get into it. Right at the beginning of the journey of starting an online business, one of the biggest things that I think we get hung up on is this idea that we need a perfect idea, which is crazy because no one has a blooming perfect idea. No one knows what's gonna work out and what's not. And I feel like we trip ourselves up on it, thinking that we have this one purpose in life and trying to desperately find it, but that's not how it works. We might have multiple purposes. There might be multiple ideas that you could run with that might be successful. The reality is we're all gonna try a few ideas, some aren't gonna work and some are. That's just the reality. Stop worrying about having this perfect idea, this one idea that lights up our soul and it's just the perfect fit for us because it's our purpose in life. <laughs> Stop putting that kind of pressure on ourselves and just have fun with being creative and coming up with ideas and just deciding to go for it. For example, when I started my first business, I was 19 years old, I was studying law at university. I started a business as a reseller selling phone unlock codes phone and lock codes. It was the most unsexy thing ever. I didn't know anything about phone and lock codes. I didn't know anything about building an online business, but I was just like, let's just see what happens. And I think so often we have ideas, but then we brush them off because we're like, well, oh, that would be boring. That doesn't light me up. That's not this, that's not that. And I just think sometimes we put so many blocks in our own way that stops us from actually just taking that first step. If I had not started a business reselling mobile phone and lock codes, there's no way I would be doing what I'm doing now by messing around with that idea, playing around and actually making that business successful. I learned so much. It was because of that that then I stumbled onto this realization that I wanted to help people. I wanted to inspire people. I wanted to bring together a community of like-minded women so I could actually make some friends with people doing similar things to me. But had I not started that first business reselling phone and lock codes, there's no way I would have ever come up with the idea to create a community for women in business. Never. I would never be where I'm at now. So my point is, don't put so much pressure on yourself to have it all perfectly figured out. Just give yourself permission to go for it with whatever comes up. How would you actually then come up with some ideas for what you could go with? I've got some questions that I feel like are so powerful that you can ask yourself to help like tune in and just get your ideas out and then don't overthink it. Just like go for it with some of them. First thing, sit down and make a list of five things that you really love. What are five things that you really love? Could be anything, just write it down and see what comes up. Write down five things that you are skilled at. What are you skilled at? Five things, write down everything that you can think of, even mm. from really random mm. little things that you think oh. that could never be a business. Mm. You just never know. What advice do people come to you about? Like, do people come to you about a certain type of advice? Like sometimes people are like, oh yeah, people are always coming to me asking me things like that. And we overlook it. We just don't even recognize that, that could be something that we might be able to share with the world through an online business. So what do people come to you for advice on? If a genie could grant you a wish to build a wildly successful business, what business would you start? Like just dream here, just dream and don't put limits on anything. If a genie granted you one wish to build a wildly successful business, what would you build? Answer it, just go for it. And then my final question for you, this one's slightly more morbid, but if you had 12 months left to live and you could build one successful business in that time, 
what would you do? If your time was coming to an end, what would you focus on? And just see what is coming up for you. What do you want to work on? And just decide, I don't have this figured out. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if this is going to work. It's not perfect. It's not this perfect idea, but I am just going to give myself permission to run with this and to play with this and just to see what could happen. Open yourself up to the possibilities because there are so many possibilities and opportunities out there. They're just waiting for us to just start running with them. So run, run with your ideas, run with the possibilities. That is literally how I got started at the beginning. I just ran with it and that helped it keep going for me and opening it up to new levels and new phases. Go with it, you can make it happen and in the next episode I want to dive deeper into like okay that's all well and good but how do you actually get out of your own way and go for it? How do you really overcome the imposter syndrome that holds us all back? So I will see you there.